So guys, we are going to create our own uh, panel, switching panel for our trim tops using these um, switches that you have already seen. I'm not yet sure which part uh, of my channel this video will be, so whether it will be a separate video or a part of another big one. So I'm just explaining about the panel now without any like introduction or conclusion. You can find probably more information in the description below. I do it just for you, for free, without... Yeah, it's not my business. I'm just trying to help someone to be use useful. So um, I made a drawing. Sorry, I'm not Picasso. Yeah, I'm oh, not even Van Gogh. But okay, so... What will be our start point? Lenko uh, uses an uh, approach where they make their switches based on the bow position. They tell this in their manual. All switches are done similar way, where the right switch uh, control the right or starboard bow and the left control the left or port side uh, when you click up when you click uh, switch up it actually written down this is about the position of the ball so when you click this switch up it's supposed that your ball will go down which means that your left or port top should also go up. If it's not clear why, maybe you can just watch some other video or just stop for a moment and think about it, how it works. Just imagine in your head, I think you, are, you have enough knowledge for this. So that's the starting point, yeah? And why? Because we want uh, we are doing like temporary switching panel to test the idea of these tops on the finish board. And um, we don't know yet result. I don't want to buy these panels. Moreover, I want actually to have automatic panels. Uh, that will be another video. We'll see how it goes. Uh, probably the link will be in the description below. And uh, so we want to be used, uh, we want to be uh, acknowledged. Yeah, well, we want to know this switches. If we, if we do the temporary, uh, mm -hmm. so the temporary switching panel, we want it do in the same way like their switches. Yeah, I, I think you got the point. Sorry for my bad French. So um, the next, the next, we also learned that. Uh, when we want uh, the actuator or to be opened, means the tub will go down, we need to put uh, plus to, to, to the white cable and the opposite one. So when we want uh, is folding, we want to put uh, black on plus, yeah? I have shown you... Uh, I. You have seen this in either this video or another one that is in the description below how I test it. And uh, let's combine these knowledges. So our right switch means will be responsible for the left actuator and our uh, left switch for the right actuator. Yeah. So then, then about the switches itself. I know, maybe you also know, I haven't seen any other switches that work differently. I know that when you press in that direction, it uh, shot these contacts. When you press in this direction, it shot these contacts. So opposite, let's say, if I can say so. Any switch uh, I have seen works this way and we decided we, what switches we need is double pole uh, so they are independent pairs of contacts so we know when we 
push it up. When we push it up, this is a momentary switch because it returns uh, to its central position. We we need this. So when we push it up, it shot these contacts. Let's combine the knowledge now. So pushing up means on Lenka tabs, and we want to repeat bow bow down the right bow starboard. It means that we need the port or left tap to go down. We know that in order to get uh, 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 this down, we need white on the uh, plus or plus on the white. And we know that uh, pushing this up, we shot these pairs of contacts. And because I provided plus here and I know that uh, this will be shorted, then this cable will go to white. And we have nothing else that put the black here. I think I don't need to explain that when you push it down, then uh, these pairs of contacts are shorted, it reverses accordingly, and then you have the tab up. I explained. <laughs> well, uh, then I connected my battery this way, like minus here and pluses here through the fuse. Uh, it's just for my convenience. I think that it will be easy somehow to connect this in my temporary box. I will explain about the box now. You can do like plus and minus here, plus and minus here, then you need to reverse it here. It doesn't matter. If you understand, then you can do this. If you don't, just you can just repeat my uh, drawing. You just need to find the right uh, switch and just repeat what I explain here. So, uh, the, it means that here, yeah, because I put the plus here and uh, pushing it up means uh, that the uh, left or port side, uh, port side or bow should go down, which means that the starboard or right tab should go down and down a lump. Down means that we put white on the plus and pushing this up short, short these contacts, this pair. It means that plus should be provided to the white of this actuator. Well, if I didn't explain well, just tell me in comments, hey, the guy from Finland, you are terrible. But if you like, then like, click, why not? So, uh, that's the idea. Next. Mm, uh, what next? Next. Next. Yeah. Uh, they provide uh, in their kit this... Uh, cable two of them i cannot buy without the cable i can but it's more expensive than to buy the kit so i will use their cables and they provide them with deutsch connector deutsch d-e-u-t-s-h something like that german means deutsch is the name of the connector if you are not familiar with them i will do another video i don't think i want to blah 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 about this in english who can listen to me so long so um, but just uh, I just tell you a couple of words that this is a kind of standard in the marine industry and automotive and the Deutsch connector is currently like basically the main manufacturer is T and here actually yeah they supply this that you need to connect to the actuator and this is actually T T D T 06 to S. I will try to show you if you can see. Probably you can see it now. Yeah, but here actually they supply Arfinol connector. Deutsch connector from Arfinol. Yeah. A T04 to P. This one on this end. And here is actually A T06. 2S, yeah, also Arfinol. Yeah, yeah, also good American supplier. 
for connectors. So don't buy in China this stuff. But actually I did. So I bought pre-wire it because I didn't have tool yet. I, I do have now. So I bought pre-wire it Deutsch connectors. You can buy them on Amazon. You can find them easy. So because and here you can read actually Deutsch, yeah. Can you? I think I don't use right lighting. Now you should you should be able to read it for sure. So Deutsch DT04 2P. So uh, what I'm going to use I, uh, to do because I need to put it f uh, through the board and it's just temporary connections. I will use this one to wiring them here inside the box. I will then connect them to either this or this part, put the wires through the board, temporary, and then on another side I will do this wiring temporary. So I will use existed cable without damaging this using these parts. You got the idea. I don't know yet how I will do this. You will see the final result. And I will do this in this box. Yeah, about the boxes. I also want to make a separate video. It looks like junction box. What can be more easy? No, 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 no. If you deal with this, if you put electronic inside, if you do a lot of electrical work, there is so much things to think about the boxes. Uh, yeah, a lot. Yeah, so I like this one, ABB, Swedish or German, I actually don't know, but in I, here in Finland it's quite popular. It's amazing box actually, and very cheap, less than two euros, I buy, yeah, for the company. Yeah, so uh, I put it here and do all wiring inside. Well, I think, I hope it was clear. I will do wiring. I will show you result. I think you don't need to see all details because you should anyway do them yourselves based on the on this idea and then we will test. Okay, let's see. I don't know what yet will happen, but let's see. Uh I will tell something anyway. Yeah, first. So, you remember these actuators are here. They are connected. I cannot take them with me. To my garage and they are supplied with this uh, cable here yeah? with the connector installed. It's easy to install and remove this connector but I don't want to, I'm lazy here, yeah? I don't want to remove it at all in the future when I do the final wiring. I want to be able to go with this wires anywhere in my board, they're easy on easy out yeah probably I can do this together with the connector through these big places but I just don't want so remember yeah we have uh, these pistons pistons new what actuators we have them here uh, motors and uh, we have these cables yeah keep it in mind and we have these two cables that are supplied. And then we have user manual, which says that we should put white cable with Deutsch connector here, which means on this piece that they supply, yeah, it will go, you can understand where, here. Yeah, it means that this piece will go to that piece of cable when it will be connected yeah and I explain to you that I don't want to put this on the actuator now so what I'm going to do then I take one of pre-wired that I bought on Amazon connectors I put it here like I already did here yeah so we imitate uh, this to being on the wires of actuator. I hope I explained clear. And now we just need to figure out figure out where we uh, connect uh, uh, a red, a red and the black on the actuator. Uh, we just look on the structure, yeah, and compare. So white is here, yeah, 
here. Well, uh, in that case, we it means on the position of the red cable. So we will need to connect red with the white of the actuator. Why do I want to do this? Because I want to connect them even quicker than this. Uh, Deutsch connectors, because I, I want to connect them with, uh, let me show you, with Vago, temporary, yeah, with this one, absolutely simple, just put the, the pin, uh, the terminal from the actuator, and on another side, this black and white, and yeah, we can put it temporary in this box too. That's what I will do under the compartment uh, under the lid of my uh, back, my back <laughs> board, back side, rear side. How you call this in English? Help me, please. If it wasn't clear, you will see either now or later in this video. I don't know yet. Well, okay, I decided to show you. So look, I put this terminals uh, Wago, Wago, V A G O, to the box here. Yeah, we will just connect actuators here, whites to reds, blacks to blacks. And uh, I didn't soldering, I didn't assembly, disassembly, anything. Uh, I just uh, connected it here and these cables will go there to the switching panel that we will do now. So I put wires of, from my actuator through all holes in my board and then just connect them there and put this box somewhere. Uh, well, I think I could actually put uh, the connector that they supply on the actuators and go through all holes that I have because they are big. But because I promised to do this way, I show you how I did. Probably you will find something useful from that information. But the point is, we connected actuators here and we go there. The most important part is there where we are going to do our switching panel. So we got these ends that you have seen on the floor, now here on the table, yeah, from there. Okay, I put one of the pre-wired uh, Deutsch connectors here, another end is free, and I want to verify, uh, do I still have white on the red one? Yeah, because we need to know where is white for this picture, yeah? So how I do this, I take one of the three connectors. Yeah, we can see that the red is here, which corresponds uh, to the white here. Then we do projection to another end. So the white was here. Yeah, the white is here. Well, it is on the red. So we still have, uh, we still have we still have uh, uh, red as white, black as black. Wonderful. That's it. Now we are ready to do the switch. So I think this box actually will be a bit small. Uh, yeah, not, not convenient. So I take another one. Yeah, this one. And first, well, what we will do so, because we don't want to put contacts before we go through the box, so we have a smaller hole. So I will disconnect, we don't need these ends now. I think I will use the same hole. Uh, yeah, okay, let's probably the second one. Yeah, and you see when you have deal with the nice junction box, you don't need any tools. Okay, it will be there, it will be uh, open for all the weather. Yeah, so this basically will be on my dashboard and we will put all switches and everything, all connection there. So it will be there and then just temporary cables that will go uh, through the board when I'm testing this next week. Yeah, you will also need to provide plus and minus somewhere here and where you take it from, directly from the battery probably, probably from somewhere in the panel. We tested uh, consumption. We have seen two amperes, yeah? But this is like normal consumption and we know, you know, I know that motors have in rush current, but in rush it's the short car current 
the cables will manage probably it's okay to take it from somewhere from some place of your dashboard but anyway you should provide here you should provide here also 12 volts or 24 and maybe in your case and uh, the fuse they recommend 20 amps fuse is also not blo not blowing just because of the shot in rush current this is parameters of the fuse uh, i think you know these things basically that's all i think i just need to show you the final result and test yeah let's see uh, guys i don't remember if I told you already that yeah here you just use any terminals just standard terminals I don't know how they called in English you just uh, press them here with the special tool I don't want to explain and show this because it's easy then just to put them on and out you do the same uh, for the plus and minus cables yeah I will show you final wiring okay guys so uh, yeah look I think it's a kind of nice yeah I will keep it hold it so that you can and blah 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 a little bit so that you can see more uh, what is here uh, I'm not sure that you can see this picture at least from if you are watching from the phone probably not but from the computer or laptop you can see that picture yeah so we crossed Cross wire it here and here and here as we have it here yeah I use these terminals this kind of terminal so that I can just plug it here I didn't want to merge this this wires together with this so I decided to use these terminals I have them like this by the way, it's better for you if you have some terminals with uh, more capacity for wires. I have this one and it wasn't actually enough to make a good wiring here. So it would be good if you have them. Okay, this is minus. Yeah, we combined. Yeah, here. So now minus is here. Plus, well, a little bit wrong length. So it would be better to be if I put plus here. I hold it for you more time so that you can see what's what I done. That's why I blah blah blah. So uh, it's better if I put actually minus here and plus here. It would be more nice. But then it need another drawing, and probably you don't understand then or me in the future. I cannot use this as reference. Yeah. So we have what we have. Okay. So, and plus, and fuse holder here, I don't have 20 right now, I will put something else. So, we just basically ready to test. We have this one, we need two cables, and we put it all together, and ready to test. Soon, wow, I'm excited. Excited, exciting, excited, ah, doesn't matter. Yeah, by the way, for easy uh, understanding where to connect actuators I decided to m do this way this by the way it's good that I put into separate holes so this will be late left actuator this will be right I, I close it here and then I connect the left one to this switch yeah the red one will go here because it's like the white one yeah, the red one, the white one here. Yeah, so you got the point, I hope. So it's easy. Then I just, I close and that's all. I, I know that I need to connect uh, the left actuator here, the right here. Okay, look, because we are now testing on the ground, I decided temporarily put this outside because we will connect the battery. So look what is inside. I will keep if you want to pause the video and watch it okay now we are closing yeah it's a little bit tough here uh, i will now use the hammer guys really stupid mistake you should actually take the box with more capacity how could i imagine just two switches was the problem but it took me 10 minutes and no result you can see it's still 
won't close. Yeah, I already bended terminals there. Still no. I will I will need to use tape and all brilliance and beautiful beautifulness will be damaged. Uh, I'm so regret. Can you support me by likes at least? Yeah. That's so pity. Don't make this mistake. Take really big box. Bigger. Bigger than one. Than this one. Ah. Come on, come on. You prepared everything. And now you realize that this... This terminal doesn't fit to this wagger terminal. No, it's not enough capacity there. Come on, could you check it in advance? Uh, no, guys, so we will use this as in the user manual. Forget about it. I well, maybe that's even easier for you. Okay, now we have to connect. We remember the user manual, yeah? It says white. White, let's put it this way. Yeah, so white at the top, yeah? We remember this, okay. Here, so we have white. At least you will see how the Deutsch connector is going to be assembled. Yeah, you put, it's easy, yeah. You put it, unless you hear click. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can hear this on the street. It's easy to assemble and disassemble, yeah. These are benefits of Deutsch Connect. Maybe the final installation will be easy for you. Guy, you are un unprepared. Yeah, no one promised you this. It's about different. Yeah, so we have it here and then this lock. I think it's called lock. Yeah, when you want to disassemble this What's happening with the focus? You just put uh, a screwdriver there and remove it. It's easy. Yeah, put this one. That's all. Yeah, it's really easy, really. So probably now we can test. Yeah, I'm excited to do this. Okay, guys, now it should be very clear for you when we removed this box. Yeah, the left side the right side yeah i will use this terminology it's more convenient probably for the rest of the world we got them connected with this Deutsch connector here and here forgot about this box you can see this cable coming 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 here to the right side as we designed and this cable to the left side and this is the box that we expect is done correctly and now we will connect the battery wow 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 soon soon x moment look you have nice framing you will see tops there and there i will be quiet because i will show everything by my fingers hands because yeah it's long distance from the microphone you see the battery you see the switch i will show either direction soon we will know what will happen let's be connected finally
Guys, did you like it? No? Why not? You didn't like my English. But if you like, why I don't see your likes? Like, subscribe, what else should I say? I don't know. Yeah, I'm not a pro of this. Just doing for fun. And share with you. Thanks. Bye.